We're back on the road, boys. Well, not really much in the road. We're in the desert right now. And the teleportation is going to basically expedite the process. So we don't have to wait so many years to get back home. And things are looking pretty good. The whole adventure thing with the Irina and Isle, We saw a little bit more of cut content of different monsters that were fighting. There's like really, there's like the ants are like the strongest. Behemoth you don't have to touch. Sandworms, griffins and all this stuff. And yes, the racist desert soundtrack was fucking peak. Now... Uh, I'm not really sure what's gonna happen today's episode. We should be just getting closer to our target and then we're gonna go into the labyrinth or something. Let's begin today's reaction. Oh yeah, back with the racist soundtrack. This is fucking lit. <laughs> sure. You sure you're not gonna uh, look for a dick? Just say geese. Oh, there he is. Oh, geese, what's up? That was an insult at the end. Yeah, we teleported. Like, what is our party doing for six months? Because that, 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 like, we, like, that letter of a chat, like, struggling, like, you know, rescuing Xenity is hard. That was six months ago? Like, they could have all just fucking died then, huh? Well, I mean, they're obviously not dead, right? そのことは後で話しますわ。ジェニスの方はどうなっていますまあ、こっちも詳しく後で話そう。とりあえず、父さんの。なんだ、先輩だよな。いや、イグルベ。随分でかくなったな。ギーさんはおか。死にでいいって
あなたよりよっぽどいい男ですわよ。クリフ、better than Paul、confirmed! My baby の flag, I don't know about that. よく来てくれた。I don't think Cliff and Paul is gonna meet. 当然です。状況を説明する。Okay, what's going on with Zenith? ギースの情報によると、永久にとらわれているらしい。Labyrinth? 六年ずっとです。How has she been alive? わからん。わからん。とっ。ええ、その迷宮で消息を絶っていたんだ。さらに最近になって、So, Zenith was in the party before, after the modern disaster. Someone that looked like Zenith was, and then they just got locked up in there. Okay, okay. One year and how many made halfway in? Is the Labyrinth that hard? What's going on? He's got a magnificent beard. Tall hand. Tall hand, my ass, motherfucker, should be short hand. Excuse me? <laughs> so, so when Irina Rizzi invited the dwarf in season one for a foursome or something and he denied, there was more meaning. I see, I see. So, if he was in Dai Nana Oji. If he wasn't Dainana Ouchi, the seventh prince, so he's into little boys. I see. He doesn't like the girls. He likes them boys. Taruhando da. Hanashi ni kite ita tori. Dihatsu na otoko da na. Zayin sorotta tokoro de. Hanashi o tsukeru. That's insane. Ii ka? Oh? Zayin? Shisho wa dou shita n desu ka? They're stuck in the labyrinth? Roxy's dead! Roxy wa ii ka getsu mae. Meikyu de wana ni ka kate. A month ago? Well, we gotta go and save her. This labyrinth is that dangerous? She took a teleportation circle? Damn, Rudy can't even hear anything right now. It's literally blanking out. So I wonder if we have that teleportation circle marked on our map that Nanahoshi gave us. Probably not. But if we did, then we could probably trace like where she could have been ported to, right? So the trap was a teleportation circle and she just gone somewhere else. Uh, she's not even in here anymore. It's hard, apparently. Oh, okay, S rank! The teleported labyrinth. Do we have a map? Do we have the map mark? Also, we have a book. By an adventure who made it to death. Uh, whose book is this? Is this the book that we found in the library in back in part one when we were trying to study about teleportation? And that was the important book author, right? It's from the university, exactly. That person... Do we have the logs of this exact labyrinth in there? School? Stole it. He's got nice painted nails. He's not looking at the book. His eyes? It, it looks like he's looking at the book. He's still looking at Rudy's fucking ass, bro. <laughs> Huh? And how far is the sixth stratum? He reads really fast. Cool, we have a documentation of the labyrinth now. Great, great, great. Okay. Nah, she is beyond perfect. Worry about the other sibling. Yeah, it's like the family's back. I think these are just more flags in my opinion. It's Sylphie, Dad. Remember Sylphie? The girl that tried to kill you before? Oh, we were comforted there. That Sylphie's still alive. Yeah. 
All these happy moments talking about family. <laughs> he's dying, he's dying, he's dead, he's dead to me. Paul's dead. Paul's fucking dead. I don't care. You say shit like this, it's over. Never talk about what's gonna happen in the future. Oh, when we're done this really hard thing, we're gonna go back and go to our favorite restaurant. We'll hang out with you. It's over. It's your first grandchild, exactly. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> How else would baby be made that? Of course we fuck Oh wait, you think you can get someone else to fucking fuck Sophie for us because we're impotent? Alright. Alright. What's Lilia's favorite position? Answer it in front of her. Wild, she says. <laughs> yeah, because Zenith was moaning too fucking loud and Paul was clapping fucking cheeks at home. And Lily got too horny and pounced on Paul and then Aisha was made. That was a nice, that, 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 that was a very nice moment. That was a nice little family reunion, even though all our family members aren't there. It was a little bit of a semblance of normalcy like we faced in like season one, but like, oh my god. Oh my god, the amount of flags being set up for Paul right now is fucking crazy. Oh, he's gonna be a granddad one day! Oh, after we're done this, we gotta throw a party! The only party we're throwing is your fucking funeral, old man. This is not gonna be good. And no one will die, and we're getting baited here. Alright. Into the la into the labyrinth we go. It's a teleported labyrinth though. <laughs> what? <laughs> Magic? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Why is he right behind? Eight. <laughs> this motherfucker. Dude. Locked in. Locked in. <laughs> He's been emotionally recharged because of Rudy. That's the Paul I like to see. That's him. He's back. He's back. It was so sad to just watch him be so down on his luck. But as soon as he heard the granddaughter and the grandkid and, you know, Rudy, so it's all good now. But. <laughs> Flex in front of Rudy, yeah. Oh, what if Paul dies while trying to flex on Rudy? No, that'd be the most stupidest death. If Paul's death flags, it gets executed by like him trying to show off to Rudy, that would be the most dumb death. No, it's, that's not gonna happen that way. Yeah, you just follow the rules, chill. <laughs> Zenith mentioned jealous at Inari and say, what happened back then? What is the event? Is it as simple as Paul used to fuck, you know, Inari and then Zenith showed up and then basically threw Inari onto the road? Like, what happened? <laughs> You're a son <laughs> You're... You're pregnant. Because... We married Sylphie in the tree. Grandmother. Who is Sylphie to Paul? Paul is Sylphie's father-in-law? Therefore... <laughs> It does work out. It does. Sorry, family tree stuff. My brain, it, for some reason, it's hard to like understand where the connections are. But yes, it, 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 she, she, she is she is mom now, kind of. Yeah, it's just father-in-law, grandmother-in-law. Yeah, basically. <laughs> it is what it is. There's a lot of spiders in here, man. What the fuck is this? The uh... oh, what was the labyrinth called in Kumo? Isekai. The Nightmare of the Labyrinth with Kumo's nickname, but this labyrinth is looking like it's just fucking teleportation. Elro Labyrinth, right? The Great Elro Labyrinth. That's a lot of spiders. You watch Kona. 
No fire allowed? Can we get rid of carbon monoxide? No ceiling allowed. A lot of restrictions. He ain't fucking looking at the magic kids. You think his eyes are there? Why is he behind right now, bro? Why is he fucking behind? He's looking at the fucking ass right now. But things could just get out of control immediately. We never know. どうしたルディ。お前も。それにしてもパウロが静かだ。第一階層の時はこうした急に階層ともなると真剣さが違うな。ダディがクールだ。やばい。もう。That's the best line so far. Daddy's keeping it cool. And he even said Daddy, bro. ると。yeah, daddy. Daddy cool. Okay. So the teleport only teleports within the labyrinth. I thought that Roxy could have been sent to a different fucking continent. But in the same stratum. So wherever Roxy trapped got trapped, she's on that stratum still. Okay. Yeah, we got Rudy and then we also have the fucking book, which is OP. ここからが本番だ。まずはロキシーを見つけるのだ。どう思う? How do you know? For an entire month. Yeah, there was some waters. There was some droplets of water during the falling down, but using that, she, she... Okay, so she's been holding up by herself for an entire month here? The fuck has she been eating? Is she going to play Dungeon Meshi mode and just eating monsters here? She hasn't showered in a month, bro. Imagine how seasoned the Holy Relic is right now. Okay. That's where she must have been teleporting. This is bullshit! No! She's out. What the fuck? <laughs> Cameraman chill. Rudy! <laughs> no! <laughs> Cameraman chill! <laughs> now! Easy. Easy. What is the fucking. Let me fucking finish what I have in mind, motherfucker! I'll go back and look at the fucking. Girl pissing her pants, you fucking degenerate motherfuckers. Let me continue with the momentum of the fucking show. You want me to fucking just go back during this fucking climax and talk about the fucking piss? Go fucking take a piss on yourselves, motherfuckers. Holy shit, you fucking horny, degenerate fucking mother. Y'all are so fucking cringe, dude. Yes, I saw a fucking piss. You want me to just stop the fucking thing and just go, oh, look, please. wow, she pissed herself. Look. <laughs> Oh my gosh, she pissed herself. Imagine the smell. She hasn't taken a shower for a month. Oh my god. You fucking pieces of shit. Understand that I understand. Motherfucker. Holy shit. Holy shit. Thank you, Rudy, for saving the time. What is the odds of this happening? Literally staying here for an entire month, holding herself out. Rudy shows up at the very end. <laughs> Holy relic. Soiled. Things are looking pretty bad. The Giga Chat shows up. Oh, the reunion, bro! Are we gonna just forget about Selfie now? Are we just gonna ignore Selfie? Fuck Selfie! I got a grand. I got a. I got a kid coming along the way. I mean, shit! We got a new girl now. Who's Selfie? Who's Eris? There's there's Roxy. It's been a long time. Oh, she's blushing. Oh, this is so peak. The reunion. How long has it been? And they could have met when you know 
crossing the demon continent, remember? In season one, they literally passed, you know, we, we were there, but we just didn't see it, bro. No, I you know what would be fucking insane? If he brought the holy relic, fresh pair of panties, and he's like, I see you pissed yourself. Here, fresh pair for you. Oh, over, over, bro, over. That's it? No fresh panties? All right. Oh my God, bro. This episode was so good. So good, but so many flags, right? So many flags. Just like talking to Paul and being like, yeah, you got a grandkid coming and you're going to be a grand, you're going to be a grandfather. We're going to go home and, you know, happy times with families and parties. It's like, oh. Paul is looking like he's for sure gonna die. Hopefully he doesn't die doing something dumb and trying to flex for the kid. But a cool sacrifice or something, being a hero at the end, I, I don't know, it, it's gotta be something like that. What is going on with Zenith though? She's been stuck there for like six years, huh? And we don't know which stratum or stratum she's in, but we have a map. We have a map and I hear, <laughs> when, the, when the dwarf was looking at Rudy's ass, that was pretty funny. But the, the whole point here was the book covers up to the sixth stratum or something. And we've also been there. I'm not really sure. But things are looking pretty good. Paul, you know, using swordmanship. It's been a long time. Flexing for Rudy. That was actually so wholesome. Seeing Edina Arize and Paul bicker. And then realizing that Edina Arize is Paul's mom-in-law. It's like, what the fuck has happened, bro? The incest tree is just getting more confusing as we go. And this labyrinth is s rank teleporter labyrinth who created these teleportation circles why in this labyrinth how did this even come to be i would love to understand the lore and why this place even exists but right now all our goal is to just basically save zenith and i guess she's just at the most deepest layer of this labyrinth roxy has been stuck here for an entire month just holding off the best she could and at the last moment after she fucking pisses herself <laughs> rudy shows up what is the likelihood of the timing bro if we were like one minute late it would have been fucking over bro it's so uncanny how that happened but hey the hero shows up at the very end and rizzes roxy up and do we have a wife? I forgot about Eris and uh, Sylphie. I think that we should focus on Roxy. And that's it for me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.